Welcome to Mariposa Will and Mills Needle Felting Basics and Kit Instruction. For those of you new to felting and deciding to try a new craft, let me give you a small intro. Basically, felting is causing wool fibers to intermingle and mat together. This can be accomplished in a couple ways. Wet felting is one way, hot water, little soap, and a lot of friction. The other way is needle felting, with which I will demonstrate later on in the video. Felting needles have barbs and uh, they grab on to other fibers, to the wool fibers, as it's poked into the wool, causing this intermingling or felting. It always is best to use a surface, such as a foam or a rice pad, um, because the needles are very sharp. This kit provides all needed supplies to start this new fun, easy hobby. Let's get started. So let's get started on our sunset silhouette. We have an overlay, which is much longer than you need, but we will divide it so that you can have the gradients where you want them to appear. So I'm just gonna go right down the middle of that pink and right down the middle of that purple so that I have a nice gradient in the middle. But you could use them however you want. So I'm just going to lay that down. So that gives me a nice little start. So I'm going to use the, the blue of the background as part of my picture. So I'm not going to cover it totally. And then you just start poking that down. And that's, it does take some time because we're poking all of it in. But just stick with it. So once the overlay is applied, we'll just start mapping out the other colors. So we use a bit of yellow. Some orange. A bit of that light pink that we have. And of course our black. So we'll start with the black, dividing it. And we could divide it again. We want a real thin line. We're just creating our horizon line right now. So we've decided where our horizon line is. We'll just start blocking in the other colors. Very thin, just adding little wispies, creating clouds. And what we'll do is, of course, we'll duplicate to the best of our ability in the water as well, what we create in the sky. So we're just working on the orange here as we lock in those colors of the sun reflecting on the water and the sun casting that orange haze in the sky. Just continue to block in the colors that you would like to appear in your painting. And if you see, if you notice, I'm using just very tiny, tiny pieces. 
because when I start to felt them down, it may appear thicker. So you, you want it to start as thin as you can. So next we'll just add those reflected clouds that appear in the water. said before this is your painting so make it as realistic and detailed as you'd like so once you've blocked in those colors that appear in the background just start anchoring them down change the angle of your needle so that you can maintain the, the wispy edges of your fibers if you continue to poke in one place or in a line it's going to create a line so change your the direction of your needle so that you can keep those wispy edges just anchor all those down you get a nice flat texture until you're all done with those So now we'll just add a bit of yellow to create that brighter center of the sun. So what we do at the top, we'll do it in the bottom half of the painting. Once you've blocked that out, just anchor it down. So now we'll work on the silhouette part of the painting. It's blocking out that area, the shape that you want the ground to be. And then we'll start to felt it down. Okay, so at this point, we'll just start felting it down. So felting it down till it's nice and smooth. And then we'll add the trees. So once that's felted down, then we'll just divide the roving into smaller manageable pieces and we start blocking in the trees wherever you want them to be. Just remember that you have a reflection below. It doesn't necessarily be, it need to be the same height because there is ground between. But um, I like to work on them at the same time so that I can line them up. Whatever I do at the top, I do at the bottom in a similar fashion. Not exact, because it is a reflection. So just taking small pieces, twisting it in your fingers, making them more manageable and slim. 
then anchoring down one side and giving a little pull to the other. You can keep a straight line that way. So once you're done and you've decided how many trees you want, then you can begin adding the, the foliage. So as I said before, you can make this painting as detailed as you'd want or as abstract or impressionistic. Um, it's up to you, it's your painting. So as we've come to the end, of our demonstration. Um, I've had people ask me, what do you do about the edges of the mat, all the extras, fibers that are hanging off? Well, what I do is give it a haircut. So it's easily done by just grabbing some scissors and snipping it away. Gives you a nice clean edge. And if you wanted to felt down those edges, maybe they're just a little bit loose, then, then you can see what you're doing that way. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Mariposa Wool and Mill Felting Basics and Kit Instruction video. So continue felting and to replenish your felting needs, come visit us at the farm market or online at the link on your screen.